Hey, 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 my name is Paul Sings and welcome to another episode of Katawa Shoujo. Yeah, I also woke up and took a shower today. Back in my room, the first thing I see is the familiar row of medication bottles lined up on top of my dresser, and it makes me depressed, as usual. Yeah, understandable. It's annoying. I thought I was okay. I thought I had made my peace with this thing, gotten over it. Of course you haven't. But what I really did, I helped myself to forget that I have a problem. Being here really, really reminds me of the reality and trying to fight against it just hurts. Reflecting on it is only going to do so much. I've done this before, for months. It seems like it's time to get over it. If I allow myself to forget that my life is definitely not going to be as long as those fathers. I won't get anywhere. My life may be different from others, but it is life in progress. Okay, okay. I, I, I like that change. That is how I will rationalize it. I download the usual handful of pills, trying to push the sudden... Su sudden the p uh, to push the sudden dreary feeling out of my head. Then I prepare to head out to the class, as early, as usual. As I step into the hallway, I notice Kenji coming around the hallway corner, stealthily, making his way over to his own room with a large bag. As he sneaks past me soundlessly like a ninja hiding in plain sight, I call out to him. Hey! He jumps at the sound of my voice. Oh, hey, hey man! I had not used it there! I'm really tired! I think it's more like he didn't see me, but that's not the issue. Where have you been this early? Shopping? Nah, I wasn't shopping. Sometimes I have to visit the math teacher. Yeah, I figured it would be a good idea to find out when the next exam is, since he tells you in advance if you want. So then, what's in the bag? I thought I'd go shopping while I was outside. I need supplies to continue to fight against the vast family conspiracy. Is that so? Uh, okay. I thought you didn't go outside. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. I thought you didn't go outside. I would have had now. I decided to not point that out that he's not wearing a hat. An awkward silence settles between us and then Kenji breaks it by pushing his door open slowly, releasing a creaky sound in the air that only makes the woman seem more awkward. He sets the bag down inside his room and then closes the door. And proceeds to do what? <sighs> I'm surprised he went out to right to find out the test date. Trying to take advantage of that opportunity to study is pretty diligent. I never study. What? Seriously? You bastard. Oh. I just want to know what the next text was. The text test. I'm still going to take it there. I need to know. So I know what day I can afford to skip class. He usually sends out updates on that crap by phone, so I had to step out and check up on it. And why do you have to go out when you can get it on your phone? I don't carry a phone. What do you mean you don't carry a phone? You mean just leave it at home? I mean, a room? Nah, I don't use phones. I don't have phone. phones. I have no phone. Why don't you have a phone? How can you not have pho no phone? No phone? What? Okay, it's possible. It's possible to not have one, I would say. And think how much... Yeah, life would be a bit simpler without a phone. Even though you are limited by not being able to contact peop some people. Some important people, for example. The less important, well, that doesn't really matter, but you know. 
you would not have so many distractions in your life. Anyway, I just don't like foes. Actually, I'm kind of scared of them. I don't know why. I think it's some kind of repressed trauma. But basically, when I hit a foe, I get nervous. It's my darkest secret. I have two theories on it. Either I have some fear of receiving some undefined ominous life altering doom call, or I was beaten with a foe in the past. Beaten so badly I can't remember it. Beaten in the head? Well, where else could I get beaten with a foe that would make me unable to remember it? The ass? Yeah, must have been Nokia 3310. Unexpectedly logical, I feel very depressed now. Sensing this conversation is more or less over. Kenji opens his door again and prepares to head inside. Yeah, I'm going to sleep, dude. Have a good one. Class is going to start in like 20 minutes. I did something today. Too tired to go to school. Hey, you need some lip bulb? I actually bought two because I thought the store had started selling individual AA batteries. I mean, sure, I guess. Do we need it for? I don't know, I mean, maybe you can say, but I'm not using that at all, ever. Even for, I should. But no fan. Ah, whatever, you've got two, I'd like it. At least, uh, let's say that, okay, I'll take it. Consider your pizza debt paid off this way, right? Thanks, but no thanks. The door down the hall opens for a crack as it swings forward from being pushed open too strongly and crashing against the wall. The sound is followed by a peal of bubbly laughter and I instantly know who it is. Oh no. At the noise, Kenji appears in his room like a ninja, slamming the door shut just as Shizune and Misha walk over, the former taking small efficient steps towards me while the latter more or less bounce off the walks. See, Kenji already sensed that the danger is coming. I try to do the same as Kenji, but it's too late. Misha puts her foot between my door to prevent me closing it, so I have no other choice but to let them in. There are other choices. Why are you here? Hi, Hitchan! Hi, hi! Hi. What are you doing here? I wonder if the pause between those two sentences. You know. What I noticed is, you are basically, it basically seems like you are set from the very beginning on a certain route. Because there is not a lot of mixture of characters going on. Unless there is still a lot of choices to be happening, I don't really know at the moment. I will know later on, because, well, as usual, later I will be cheating. Uh, with the choices, but it really seems like that. I think we are set on this route. Too bad that there is no route for Misha, right? I'm so curious how she is while she's not around Shizune. <sighs> anyway. I wonder if the pause between these two sentences was politely long enough. Hey John, the truth! We came to pick you up! Do you think we thought you were going to escape and came to make sure you didn't? Surely not, Hit Chan! Hey, I didn't say that's what you were here for. But now I know exactly what they are here for. It's time for steering castle work! Yes, it is! Aren't you happy, Chan, to be able to help the whole school? Okay, this school, maybe yes. You're like a hero! Please don't call me that. The future generation will tell stories of this day! Would be nice. Interesting. I don't think joining the student council would be a heroic deed worthy of Hercules. Well, I guess I did promise, so... 
I've neglected Chizune and only now do I notice her in the corner of my vision, peering around my room on my shoulder, her analytical eyes darting from object to object. This is kinda intrusive. The feeling of being exposed grows in my balls. I think the saying is stomach, but okay. Luckily, I don't have dirty laundry on the floor or anything like that. Same. Hmm, what's this shit, Chan? Yeah, this is Kitchen's room. We haven't seen before, did you guys? It's kind of plain, but Hitchan hasn't had time to decorate it yet, so isn't that so? What are those? She points at my collection of medication on the night table. I don't really want to talk about it with these two. Kick them out of my room. Try to dodge the subject. Sure, let, let's just kick them out. <laughs> let's be like that. Uh, no, let's, let's try it. It's nothing. I quickly step in, rather than trying to hide this stuff behind my back. She is gonna take a step back, looking suspicious, but it's an expression not without concern. I hope if I avoid it, she'll understand that I don't want her to keep prodding me about it. Really? What are you doing? Hiding, Hit Chan? I, I'm an addict. <laughs> or something like this. Nothing. Is that so? I realize I can't really square my way out of this. They're nosy by nature and hiding it just going to pique their curiosity more. Yeah, okay, it is something, but I don't want to talk about it, okay? Not yet. Can we just put this aside for now? As Misha translates, she's on stares at me hard of her eyes, focusing on the as ever, peering at me curiously over the rims of her glasses. Her fingers press against each other thoughtfully as if she's waving the value of pursuing this further than necessary against the insult of disrespecting my wish. And the decision is... That her expression finally melts into a slight smile and she signs something to Misha. Okay, then we'll wait and become better and better friends. And one day, when you feel like it, you can tell us about it. Both of them smile widely at me. And I feel shocked and a little stupid about being like this. Yeah, I mean... Uh, sorts of shocked that they are not pushing the topic further. Not gonna lie. Do we have a little change of heart in character? That would be nice. They are not stupid and probably can at least halfway guess what's going on with me. And... Such simple, kind words. I feel relieved that they don't think any words of me even if I'm like this. What do you mean? Even if I'm not like the rest here. What do you mean? Even if I can't be at ease about it. Are you talking about the fact that you don't accept that stuff happened to you? And they seem to accept it? Already? Something like this? Uh, seems that behind the obnoxious mischievous acts, both of these girls are really kind and good people. That's what I think. Th thanks. So, you want to me to help you out today, right? Seems. I'm one of you now. <laughs> After class. No, 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 no! No, but what about class? You are going to skip again? <laughs> it's for the common good, so we sacrifice our math lessons and maybe the social studies too. What are they? Oh, exactly. Now, I will. Uh, I always wonder. What's exactly the social studies? You guys have something like this? I don't remember having something like this in Poland at all. Integrated study of social science and the humanities, including history, geography, political science. Okay. 
So we didn't have something like this. We just had quite literally history, geography, political science, not really. There was some weird thing that I had going in the last year of high school, but it included something about politics, but yeah, it was bullshit as usual. Just as you can call basically Polish politics bullshit. That's all it is. Why do we, why do we not have it here? And then we have something as useless as goddamn religion. What's the point of this crap? I don't I don't understand this at all. Then again, I did not attend in high school. <laughs> Because you could actually say, yeah, I don't want to go. And, okay, you don't have to. It was nice in first and second year, because the classes were at the very end when it comes to religion. But on my third year, this piece of garbage, piece of garbage uh, was put in my schedule in the middle of lessons. So I was forced to wait for an hour. For it to pass. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> it's for the common good, so we sacrifice our math lessons, maybe social studies too. Wait, I read this already. Speaking of which, I what what's the thing that you get from There is something from those religion lessons that I don't have because of not attending high school. Uh wait. I think I know what it is. Uh was it that? Ma something like marital science? Some whatever. But yeah, it's... You get a piece of paper that you went through it, basically. And... I would say that's freaking dumb. The then again, I would say that... Someone from church teaching people about marriage? Really? I don't think so, man. Anyway. Because we don't need to go on tangent about religion here, right? Awesome hit chan! You said it okay? Remember, I'm fine with helping out! That's what you said, right? Yeah... That tone! And then again, really, I don't... Uh, I don't want to offend anyone who believes and so on. I just don't believe in the whole... Organization of church, that's all really. And the way they work. But don't, I suddenly regret saying it. I, I actually don't, what I said, no, I don't regret it. <laughs> okay, are you ready to go then? We can go to the office together! No! You're probably going to make me carry all your stuff for you or something. Don't be silly, Chan! We dare walk to school together! Hey Chan! I almost want to ask why we would, but then it downs on me. The both of them consider me a friend, like Misha said before. And they want to become better friends with me, even. It's weird. I've never really thought about them that way, or any of the people I've met so far this week. Is it really so easy? Yes. Yes, it's that easy. Now thinking about this, how many episodes are we in? This is the sixth one. Well, almost full week, yeah. Just like that. Okay, let's go then. She then grins craftily and puts her hands behind her back. <laughs> That's great, Hitchan! Okay, okay, but first, you had a really great idea, Hitchan, like it a lot! So, it's time for a game! Oh no! Shichan is holding a thousand yen note in one hand! Hichan, if you guess which one you can have it if you don't! You're carrying all our books to school! Right, Shichan! Right! She and Shizuna exchange notes. Or I can just not participate. Okay, Hichan, get ready! Getting three bags instead of one. Ooh. 
Then again, maybe it's not that terrible for you. Again, at least you are not in Polish school. Where one back would destroy your back. <sighs> I think about the day that's ahead of me, oh fast. Now that I think about it, I wonder why did I carry everything in a backpack? I could just take sports back. I would actually easily fit everything there and it wouldn't break. I broke so many backpacks because of the books. It was ridiculous. Two of them definitely collapsed and I had ba uh, books basically fall out. Uh, like, I don't know, six bags, six backpacks broke, uh, had a broken zipper because of course, because the books would be too freaking high. Uh, I think I had three accidents where my drinks would spill out. So that was fun. Yeah. Anyway. I can see students walking back and forth through the courtyard, probably in preparation of their own projects. The festival is practically here. And that means there are only two possible reasons that my help is required. Either there is only a small amount of work left and I just want helping hands to warp up the mundane final checks they are obligated to do. Or there is so much to do. <laughs> Or there's a ton of left uh, of work left. Yeah, I expect that. And Shizune is putting on a calm face as a torrent of built-up procrastinate work threatens to kill us all. Once inside the office, I look around to see that it's of course deserted. <sighs> I guess this means there is a lot there isn't a lot of work left, huh? Since there is no one here at all. It's always like this, Hit Chan. This conference, what I have thought before, they don't have friends. <laughs> or, yeah, no one is in the student council, basically. But have never actually been able to confirm definitely. Shouldn't be sure, a student council. The whole student council. Damn. So it's true. The student council is really only two. You two. Okay, I expect the answer of. No, Shichan, it's we free. She looks as if she's stuck wondering whether to be ashamed or explode with anger. And means that she's equally divided between laughing and trying to stop her. Yeah, I, I expect Misha to laugh. Well then, Shichan, you'll be happy to know that this, since it's just us free, we have a lot to do. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. That does not make me happy at all. But it seems to make Shizune very happy. <laughs> Just kidding! Just kidding what? The work turns out to be sorting and double checking a considerable amount of paperwork necessary for an event such as the school festival to get done. Bureaucracy is a mind-boggling thing. But we managed to finish that when the lunch, uh, the lunch bell rings. It's finished? Okay. Oh my god! The yawning hits me today. Okay, now that we are done, we can relax a little. But not too much, we have lots much to do in the afternoon. It's actually not that much work, Jan, so we can afford to enjoy the lunch first. <laughs> the two of them produce a small array of plastic containers seemingly out of thin air. <laughs> it's chicken cutlet with tomatoes and soybean sprouts. Doesn't sound delicious, Hip Chan. It will just make this morning and it's still warm, so eat, eat, eat. I take one of the containers and. <laughs> Sorry. I take one of the containers and open it. It looks nice and certainly smells good. The fact that I'm really hungry adds to that even more. I, I actually am, but later. Wow, 
Wow, this looks great. Where did you get this? That is an important hit, Chan. There was supposed to be a stall selling lunch boxes, but the girl who was to run it suddenly said she couldn't do it. She Chan said, What a waste! It was all the work today. Trick Hit Chan into making this. Hey, what the hell? So, Shi Chan wanted to see if she could do it, but then said not to write Shi Chan. She's not sucks angry, shooting Misha. At least, please look. I don't think I was supposed to hear that story. This is your test food. I'm eating it too, Hit Chan. And Shi Chan is too. That doesn't answer the question here. Nevertheless, I split a pair of chopsticks, Shizune offers me pick up a piece of cutlet and pop it into my mouth. It's surprisingly good. I didn't expect Shizune to be such a good cook. Shizune puts her chopsticks down to sign curtly towards Misha, who gulps down her cutlet with not small difficulty in order to speak for her. Hitchan, don't talk with your food in your mouth! Yeah, don't do it. Yeah, I hate that too, actually. It's not like I enjoy doing it. Anyway, how motherly showed this kind of concern. You can't even eat right, Hit Chan. That's all it is. It's a stalemate. I can't eat in order to talk to Susanna, who can't eat in order to chastise my for eating the wrong way. Misha caught in between is in the same situation and looks the most disheartened by how this is going. Either way, our food is getting colder by the second and it wasn't piping hot to start with. Wherever this was going, it dies down pretty fast once we realize that and we eat. After a while, the bell rings. But Misha makes no attempts to tell Shizune. So I'm sure they are planning to skip classes and spend the rest of the day in here again. Chan, do you have any plans for the festival? Yes, I actually have a date. No, not really. After all, I've only been here a week. What could I set up in that time? Lily, Hanako, Rin, and Ellie? Was it Ellie? Ellie? Emmy. Or Ellie. No, I think it was Amy. There are options, basically. <laughs> there is also option to spend time with Kenji. And listen to his crazy theories. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, ho, ho. He to help us out so much. Don't sell yourself short. Okay. We're serious. Okay. The two of them seem to get indignant over the strangest things. You're going for a ride, Hit Chan? You should at least see what we've accomplished. I wonder why she stuttered. Oh, maybe she didn't know the sign. Everyone should be able to look at what they have done so they can fully understand their work. That's my belief. You're no, ex you're no exception. Hit Chan! You should definitely go! If you don't have any plan, then maybe we can even go together! Do we need a hand? It doesn't seem you help with, I'm fine with sticking around. I feel much more at ease than I did earlier. My previous concerns and fears long gone. I'd forgotten about the morning's trouble entirely until now, having fun with shoes and like this. But what about Misha? Having the fun with Shizune. It seems like an unfamiliar concept to think of, but looking back on it, I really enjoyed the moments I spent with her and Misha these past few days, in spite of everything else. If we might be going together, then maybe I can afford to stick around a little longer, and I guess it beats class. It beats class. I mean, yeah. Really, Hitchan? Okay. 
we can consider this you repaying us for the free lunch. Great, this is great, really, really great. Shi Chen was hoping to bring this up again later in the way. Oh, ho, ho, oh, ho, ho. That's not a free lunch at all. Normally I would be angry or at least slightly unsettled, but my mood has improved from earlier and so I'll let it slide. <laughs> Helping it out turns out to consist mostly of stamping forms and making what seems like 10,000 copies a piece of 50 different budget reports. Oh boy. <sighs> Again. Sorry, didn't sleep enough. Uh, it's not hard, but very boring, and according to Michelle, the simplest of the tasks they deal with. I feel myself getting more and more tired, and with that... Hey, I, I guess my current state works with the game then. And with that, less eager to return to class. This is especially bad because the more time I spend out of class, the harder it seems to just get up and go back. These two. They are a terrible influence. Terrible role models. Not that it bothers me all that much, and I'm sure no one looks up to them. Yeah, but it's the principle of the thing. Done! Ah, that was fast. I'll be finished before this period is over, I think. No, no, he chan everything's done, so we're done too. That doesn't make any sense. Are you telling me this all arbitrary and you've been keeping it here for the hell of it? What's going on? No! But we have kept you long enough. You should go back to class, Hitchan. You can still make it for most of this period. What about you? Of course, we're coming too. Of course, we'll be right behind you. Oh no! Why? It was going so good that you brought back that painting again. <laughs> ah. Richard, I start heading back to the class, but the period is almost halfway over. So I start thinking it would be pointless halfway there and pass the difference between this class and the next drinking juice in the hallway. I keep an eye on the door to the standing council room, but it doesn't open. What's taking them so long? Are they busy wrapping up my share of the work? Well, it shouldn't take so long. So long, unless there is more, and they just want me to leave. The more I think about it, the likelier it seems. Shizuna is, well, not an idiot, but clearly she's unable to just come out of, with things. Maybe it's because she can't talk, so it's harder for her. She has Misha, but all in all, as easy as they make it look, there's still difference between casual speech and sign language. I contemplate going back there to check on them, but the bell rings said I have to go to the class. They joined me a few minutes later and the thoughts I had in my mind before slipping away in the routine of school life. By the time I remember, school is over for a day and I am too tired to do anything but go home, do my homework and then go to sleep. Yeah, let's do that, I think. Oh, intermission. Okay, we're ending the episode. This will be a shorter one. We are actually sticking today to the life that that is normal for my channel. So for now, hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you tomorrow and have a wonderful day. I'll still continue recording today. <laughs> bye bye.